Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. Here I am sitting working today and what happens, Slate Digital drops a new plugin module for the VMR, the 500 series plugin. This is the Transient Shaper here in yellow, Transient Designer. They call it the Transient Shaper. We're gonna listen to it on some drums, some bass, and on some acoustic guitar and some piano so you can kind of get a feel for how it works. Really, really simple. If you have the all access pass, I think they call it, this is a free update if you already have a Slate subscription. And I recommend all of my students when they ask me about what are the best third-party plugins, best bang for buck when I'm moving from my stock plugins, I always say the Slate Digital All Access Pass. I've been using it ever since Slate Digital has been using, uh, making plugins. So this is great. So we're going to listen to the Transient Shaper and check it out. Cool new fun plugin. Before we get started, like, share, subscribe. Also go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. If you've never been here before, and this is the first time you're visiting Uncle Dave, I want to give you a free $100 mixing course. The button is right on the homepage. You cannot miss it. Check the link in the description box below. Click on that orange button, get your free course today. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to give you something else for free. So here we are. Transient Shaper, Transient Designer. Looks cool. Nice yellow. Kind of dig it. I use hardware Transient Designers all the time and I love them. <clears throat> This will be really cool. So let's walk through this and let's listen to it. Anyway, we have a transient section here at the top and a sustain section here. And then we have an output section down here. Transient's kind of easy. You have how much transient you want to focus on, how much of the transient you want to enhance. And then they have a warmth saturation here to give it a little bit of warmth and some color. They also have this focus bar down here, which allows you to kind of zone in on the frequency range of where you want this thing to focus on, which is kind of cool. And they got some cool presets here, which we'll check out. Then they have the sustain section. Does exactly what you would think. It actually sustains the note a little bit. And again, you can use the focus bar to kind of narrow in on what frequencies you want to sustain. On the bottom, we have an output section. We have um, a makeup down here. So as you increase that transient, if things get a little louder, you could pull back the makeup gain a little bit. We have a mix parallel wet dry thing, which is great. We have a safety clip, which I guess according to Slate, if I understood it correctly, will um, we'll, we'll give you that kind of that soft clipping kind of effect. It'll hit right at zero dB, which is kind of neat if you want that. We have a listen section, which will allow you to either listen to the full output, which is what it starts where it uh, is set at default or you can listen to the transient section of what's being affected. You can hear how this transient section is affecting the audio or the sustained section. And then we have a time, which is how long you want that transient to be, I believe. I think that's what it is. Let's check it out. So anyway, here it is on a kick in. First, what I did as I quickly set this up, the plugin dropped less than five minutes ago as I'm sitting here. I threw it on a kick in, kick out, snare top and bottom the overheads, a bass guitar, acoustic guitar, and a piano. And I just quickly dialed it in with some presets and then tweaked it a little bit. Let me give you the overall effect of what this kind of does. So I'm just gonna play this back and I'm just gonna shut off the power button to all of the inserts. So all of the transient uh, shapers will go away. Listen to what it does. And then we'll dive into a couple of the tracks. <laughs> It enhances the transient. How about that? Really cool, right? Let's just take a listen. Let's start with our kick in here. Let's just go through this quickly. So here's the kick in. I'll turn it up a little bit. I'll exaggerate it so you can hear it. So the warmth is kind of interesting. You hear a little bit of extra compression happen in there, which is kind of cool. So here's our transient. Let's see what our sustain does.
This really helps us poke through the mix really nice. If we go to the listen section, let's listen to the transient and let's see what this is doing just on this transient section. Here's a sustain section. And we can use the time button in conjunction with this. Interesting, and I guess if you hold the shift key and click these two little bars, I think you can move this together. Oh, can you move this together as one unit? Yeah. So you could kind of, without the shift key, you could kind of narrow in and close in on the range of frequencies here. Again, I just picked a preset here, like like low, fatter, and let's just and let, let's see what that does. It's this from 300, what is this from? Off, oh, up to about 300 hertz. And it's wide open down here on the sustain portion. That's on a kick. I did the same thing on the kick out. Let's go to a snare. That would be another place you would commonly use these. And I'll turn it up so you can hear it. to really bring out the ring and the sustain and the ring of that snare with the sustain control, which is cool. This is transient fat. What other presets they got? Snappy. That's snappy. High end tightener. Transient fat. Wow. This is where you would definitely want to turn the makeup gain down a little bit. So that's kick snare. Did the same thing on the snare bottom too, which is also a, another place I would commonly use a transient designer. snare bottom so again just on the first just on the kick and the snare here's let's turn them on and off overheads. That's a little much. That's really nice for overhead just to bring out the sustain even if you don't want much of the transient. Give it a little bit more life to the whole kit.
So you can get a lot of interesting stuff with drums. And that's where you would commonly use this. Just to, whenever you need sometimes just that kick or the snare, just to poke through a dense mix, a transient shaper or a transient designer works really well. It also works well on things like acoustic guitar, where if you want to bring out the pick attack a little bit more, um, or if you're working with some kind of an RP. So that's interesting. Now, also keep in mind, this song's not mixed. It's just raw tracks thrown in here just so we could hear what this thing is doing. So again, this is something that could be cool on the right acoustic guitar part, just to get, if you want to get that rhythmic thing kind of happening, especially if it was more like maybe a, a palm muted kind of a, 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 an arpeggiated palm muted kind of picking, it might be cool to get the pick attack. Okay, so you can see as you move the focus bar, now it's focusing on that low mid 300 range, which, which we don't want. So you can use this. Interesting. Cool little tool. Here's piano, and then we'll end this video. Again, just playing around with it for the first time, just to see kind of what it does. That's exaggerated quite a bit, but anyhow. it's pretty cool i mean it's something that again you wouldn't use all the time it's not something that you're going to use on every track certainly but it is cool that they added this as part of this vmr collection it's something that's definitely useful it's got its place i'd have to play around with it more again we just popped it open for the first time and i figured we'd turn on the camera so once again if you have the slate digital stuff go on out and uh, download this it's a free plug and if you have the all access pass i think it is really cool um and it's a nice little handy utility much like when they put out that uh, deesser by dbx uh, not too long ago. This is another one that came out recently. That's just a great plugin that I don't use all the time, but when you need it, it works really, really well. And this is another one of those plugins. I think that when you do need it, 
used in a subtle way, we've exaggerated it here today. This transient shaper could be something really cool. It's that perfect tool or that perfect little thing you need just to get a snare to poke through the mix a little bit more. Or if you have a really dense mix and you're trying to get that kick drum to kind of pop through, this is a good way to do it without having to go in and bunt boost a bunch of EQ, you could just focus it on that transient to get that pop to come through. So that's a look at our Slate Digital Transient Shaper. Thanks so much for checking out this quick video today. Like I said, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I wanna give you that free course, again, right on the homepage, worth a hundred bucks. Download it today. And if you wanna take one of my other full length training courses, I wanna give you a 25% discount coupon code. The coupon code is YouTube25. You put that in at checkout, it'll take 25% off any course on the website. So thank you so much. Let me know what you think below about the transient shaper in the comments. And until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video.